Okay, so in the last video we loaded in some data uh, with this script here using Faker and Axios as well as the Idea Generator uh, website, and which actually made me for, uh, remember that I skipped a pretty important step in our API. Why is this? Oh, right, the drop scheme. I'm gonna nick that. And all right, John, start dev. Here we go. Um, like it better on this side. Okay, and we go to users. We have all the users that we loaded in, and if we go to ideas. We have all the ideas that we loaded in, but um, right now it's only forty-seven, so it's not too bad. But you can, as you can imagine, if we were showing all of the ideas, in the case that we we have, um, let's say a thousand, it would slow us down a lot, the response time, um, and definitely be a big hit to performance. So we're actually gonna do some pagination, which is, uh, let's see, where's the show? All? So all of our show all methods, we're gonna add in a page um, argument of number, and I'm gonna set the default value to one, uh, so that we can limit how many that we're sending back to the user, and then they could opt to change the page number and see more than one page of data. And in type form, to do that, uh, we have take, so I think 25 is a good number, and we also have skip. 25 times page minus 1. So, let's see. So now that if we go to I the ideas route, we're only going to be showing 25. And this is going to be a bad representation, but if you go into the actual data logging, you can see that the, we're limiting the data, the coming back by 25. Now we also need to give the user the option to change the page number. So we need to go to controller and go into our show all ideas. And we're going to use a query parameter, query page uh, argument of page number, and then send it into the show all. Um, let's see, restart the server. And then uh, because we have a default parameter, we don't have to send in anything. but if we want to change the page number, we just do page equals to one is default, and then if we go to two, it'll be a different page, and then of course if we go to three, uh, we don't have what's this uh, more than fifty ideas. If we did, it would end up here, and so it's right now it's skipping um, to fifty and then producing all the the data after that. Now we just need to add this logic to each service and controller. Um, so I'm gonna go to the users first. This is because it'll be relatively um, simple. So I just do page here, number, set the uh, default to one, add the skip to 25 and wait no I'm getting I'm getting confused so we take 25 and we skip by page minus one uh, this is this way page zero is technically page one so then it's not confusing to the the user and take 25 from the database. I, I really wish they just named this limit like actual SQL, but 
whatever. Um, in our user controller, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to add the query here. Page, page is number, and set it in here. So now if we go to slash users with an S, page three has nothing, but page one does. Okay. And we can't test out comments right now because we don't have any comments in the database, but uh, it should be pretty simple. We're just going to do the same thing. Um, I'm actually going to use the this syntax just so we can use the find options. So this one where the idea is equal to the ID relations and uh, multi, multi select. So we're going to take 25 and we're going to skip. 25 times page minus 1. And of course, page doesn't exist yet, so we need to add it in. Number, set the default to 1. And change the controller to match that. So, boop, boop. Query, page, oops a string so page page number uh, page here and then finally we're gonna go back to our ideas controller because we have to treat ideas a little differently because we also want to show not only pagination but we also want to um, gets the newest, so slash newest, and we're going to show newest ideas. And let's just check. The prefix is API ideas, so that's good. And we're going to do the same thing. So this dot idea service dot show all page and uh, one second. Query page page is a number, and we have to also edit the idea service to to take the order uh, by the created date. Um, so we want order by. Which looks like where did I put it? No, oh, there it is. Um, so order it's gonna be equal to uh, we want to take in a boolean. I mean, newest is a boolean. It's gonna be an optional parameter. And if newest is true, then the order is gonna be. Uh, created descending then in here we're just gonna do true and we go to slash newest uh, it's, so let's first go to um, ideas and see that the one by Braxton Jurd, a messaging app for planning courses, is going to be the first here. But if we do slash newest, it'll be sorted by the created date. And the newest one is actually going to be a barcode reader for athletes, by also by Braxton Jurd. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Okay, cool. Alright. Yep, a uh, short video, but it's an important step for performance of your API. And I want to get to it uh, before we did anything else. All right, I'll see you guys next time.